it, to honor somebody like Alice Coltrane, who was all about um, manifesting love through music and as a, as a way of healing. And that was what jo John Coltrane was all about, too. And, and all these musicians who are great masters, they kind of, they can channel that, you know, and they brought that energy. For some reason, her nature or something like breathes out this sense of the East and India. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And it's really amazing to me when I think about John Coltrane and his life and how he went through so many evolutions. It's like really amazing to think about how that he connected with a woman like that and, you know, opened up even more of my interpretation of how Indian music and India is connected with Coltrane's right. music. You know, like I... For our Coltrane tribute, I made a deliberate point of doing a few Alice Coltrane songs, you know. Yeah. And I think that not a lot of people would necessarily put those on the on the on the menu for a Coltrane tribute. They just right. say John Coltrane, and yeah. you know, there's so much material right there. Yeah. Um, so there was a real deliberate attempt to kind of like select the songs I think that, that accentuated that connection. Yeah. Both John Coltrane and Alice Coltrane were were inspired by some of the intentions that have uh, emerged in India behind music um, as a spiritual quest um, as a means to the ultimate and I, that's why I feel like their music has always pulled at me and um, and so many people around the world when I think about the generations that have led to this point I think about how like there was an early on stage of sort of orientalizing the music of this quote-unquote exactly. other place. And then yeah. there was a generation which was like really going and going over there then yeah. in person and getting into it. Then you have this generation essentially, right? Where artists like John McLaughlin, Zaki Hussein, they're alive, right? They have kids. Right. And these kids are now, they're totally in both places. They're in both worlds, right? It's like, you know, they're a child of two worlds, right? Yeah. So they're kind of like Spock. But like, <laughs> they, they have all the powers of both worlds. Right, and then and you have to acknowledge that this is now one person. This is one life, and this is one thing that is not. You can't just reduce it as fusion, and you can't take it lightly either. You know what I mean? You have to like give it its due respect. These two rivers that have crossed, like they've come from somewhere. Yeah. And those things have created this thing that suddenly is like breathing and alive. And when it has heart and when it has depth, it's like it really comes out in the best way. Right, and that's just really where it's just music. Somebody just hears it and they're like, I don't know what this is. Right. Is this Coltrane? Is this a Raga? Right. This is awesome. Like it doesn't, right. it doesn't yeah. matter really.